Alright guys, I was wrong. I made a video telling you guys that the Apple Watch Series 6 and the iPad Air 4 would be released via Apple's website either today or tomorrow, and it was completely wrong. It turns out that earlier today, Apple officially announced their September event date, which is Tuesday the 15th. So now the guessing game is finally over, and everything makes a whole lot more sense and I'm gonna explain how I think everything is gonna play out over the next few months. Now, while I was wrong about there being Apple product releases this week, I was correct in saying that you shouldn't be buying the current Apple Watch right now, because we now basically have an official announcement date for the Series 6. So let's get right into everything we should expect from the Apple event next week, as well as the October event next month. According to Mark Gurman, who won the Twitter leak war against John Prosser by saying that we won't be seeing the Apple Watch getting released this week, Mark is being told that for next week's Apple event, it's gonna be focused on the Apple Watch and the iPad, and it won't include the iPhone 12 announcement. Now, personally, it makes more sense to me to announce the iPhone alongside the Apple Watch like they've always done, but when you think about it, Apple did mention during their quarterly earnings report that their iPhones will be shipping a few weeks later than usual, and it might seem weird to have people wait over a month before receiving their iPhones. So let's get into what Apple is very likely to announce on Tuesday the 15th. Galerme Rambo, an iOS developer, looked into the metadata for Apple's live stream event on YouTube, and he found the keyword Series 6, which refers to the new Apple Watch. This basically confirms that the new watch is gonna be announced on Tuesday next week. So let's quickly get into some of the features that we should be expecting. Apple should be announcing updates to all of the Apple Watch's sensors, including new ones that can potentially detect things like stress, better sleep tracking, and blood oxygen monitoring. Some leaks and rumors pointed to the bezels getting slimmed down on the watch's display, and we should also be getting better battery life. There's also the chance that the side button will turn into a solid state button, like Apple did for the iPhone 7's home button, instead of physically clicking. We should also expect a new S6 SoC, which should be faster and more efficient than before, and the Series 6 should have better water resistance as well. It was also leaked that the Series 3 watch, which is $200, should be replaced by a brand new budget Apple Watch, currently dubbed the Apple Watch SE. Now within the YouTube metadata leak, there was also mention of the iPad and iPad Air, which have both been rumored to be launching very soon. So we should probably also expect the iPad Air 4 to get announced on Tuesday as well, so let's talk about the features we're expecting for that. This year's iPad Air is most likely going to take on the same body as the 11-inch iPad Pro, with square edges on the sides, a flat back, and rounded corners on the display. This totally makes sense because in the past, the iPad Air 3 took on the same exact body as the old 10.5-inch iPad Pro. So we should also expect support for Apple's Magic Keyboard case and the second-gen Apple Pencil. Now, since the iPhone announcement is currently being rumored to not happen until next month, we can most likely expect the iPad Air 4 to come packing the A13 Bionic chip and not the A14. And compared to the iPad Pro, we shouldn't be expecting all of the main features like the 120Hz display, the quad speakers, or the excellent camera system with LiDAR. All of that stuff is being reserved for the iPad Pro. Now there have also been a lot of rumors pointing to the budget iPad being updated as well, and I personally believe that since it's the budget model, Apple will simply update the processor to the A12 chip and not change much else. So that means the display size could very likely stay at the same 10.2 inches. The price will most likely stick to the same $329, but there is a chance that Apple could bring it down to $300. Now other than that, there's a chance that Apple could announce their long-rumored AirPods Studio over-ear headphones, but they could also save it for next month's event. I guess we'll just have to see because everything is all mixed up this year. Now let's go ahead and talk about the iPhone event that's rumored to be coming next month. Apple's gonna announce the iPhone 12 lineup, but most current rumors are pointing to the less expensive models shipping first, with the more expensive Pro models potentially shipping way out into November because of delays, so be aware of that. 
A big focus of the event will be on the new A14 chip built by TSMC using their brand new 5 nanometer process, so there will be a lot of talk about the performance and the future of their chips. Apart from that, Apple will most likely release their AirTags tracking product, which has been rumored for months now. And there's also the chance that we're going to see the release of the AirPower wireless charging mat. Now, since Apple is splitting up their product announcements into two different events this year, and they're announcing the watch and new iPads separately from the iPhone, there's a good chance that Apple will also talk about their new Apple Silicon Max at the same event next month. The main reason this would make sense is if they have a whole section dedicated to their silicon chips with the A14, the A14X for the iPad Pro, and the new Mac family of chips. And so far, from all of the leaks and rumors, we should be expecting a replacement for the MacBook Air, which could be priced as low as $800, and a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with an Apple Silicon chip. This is going to be a very big deal for Apple, so these new Macs will definitely be announced at some sort of event, whether it's the same event as the iPhone or a completely separate event but we'll just have to wait and see. So there you guys go. Sorry if I let anybody down by saying that the Apple Watch is gonna be released this week. We just gotta wait one more week for Apple's official event, and then we'll finally know for sure what's getting announced on Tuesday the 15th. So definitely click that circle above to subscribe so you don't miss out on our reviews and comparison videos of those new Apple products that are coming next week and also next month. And definitely check out that video right there for leaks and rumors on the Apple Watch Series 6. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.